going back to the story of the moment now, though, the European sovereign debt crisis. Greece has been at the heart of it since day one. And as Alinda Labrapoulou reports now, it has a whole new generation living on the streets. Scenes like this would have been a rarity until a few years ago. But this is Greece's new street of despair. There are the new homeless, a new generation of the street, who until recently had a shelter, job and a mortgage. You don't need to look very far to see the country's financial crisis is rapidly turning into a social one. In just one year, soup kitchens have seen a 20% rise in the number of people who rely on them for their daily food. Uh, there are people uh, who came here for the first time. Uh, is, uh, they are new poor and uh, they lose their jobs from the crisis. Uh, the, they are pensioners uh, who goes down the incomes and uh, now the only place uh, where we, they feel safe is here to take some food. 51-year-old Yorgos Pefanis is one of these people. He's been coming here every day for the past year. His story paints a picture of the crisis to hit Greece. Until a few years ago, he had a job as a baker, but the company had to downsize as demand dropped due to the recession. When we had the money, we didn't manage it properly. We are here now begging for a plate of food. If someone told me 10 years ago that I would be here, I would have taken it as a joke, if nothing worse. Thousands of people have lost their jobs as a result of the financial crisis in Greece and an increasing number are finding it difficult to pay their bills. And for some, there's little choice but to sleep rough on the streets. Many of these new homeless are people who have been made redundant in the last couple of years. Unemployment has skyrocketed by over 6% in three years and is forecast to go higher in Greece largely due to the massive cuts in the bloated public sector. A prerequisite by the country's lenders for Greece to continue receiving the money of a bailout package to prevent it from defaulting on its debts. Yorgos Barkouris, a musician, has been living at this shelter operated by an NGO for a month now. He says there are thousands like him who have not been as fortunate as to find a bed. I live here, I sleep here in this bed and uh, every night you see all the people that have no bed, no shelter, to go out. There are many people. And uh, it's shocking because you can't imagine where are they going now? Where are they going to sleep to protect, protect their, themselves? It's, for me, it's shocking and I'm homeless. The NGOs say homelessness is 25% higher than last year, placing numbers at around 20,000. The government says it is conducting a study to get the exact figure. In the last year, there has been a 40% decrease in hospital spending. And at the same time, there's been a twofold increase in admissions, as people can no longer afford private care. Add to that the 2012 budget, which foresees more cuts in health spending. The government says next year there may be less money but promises it will be better managed, enabling them to do more with less. We believe the cuts in spending should not be the problem. We are approaching the issue of restructuring the financial management of the capital we already have. To yesterday's homeowners, who are today faced with living on the streets and on handouts, these words are of little relief. Elinda Labropoulou, CNN, Athens. What a sovereign debt crisis actually means. Now, sticking with the debt crisis and issues of global concern, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon